Now let's take two more special angles which are included along with 30, 45 and 60 that is 0 and 90 as exclusively special angles because 0 and 90 have their own special cases which are put apart from 30, 45 and 60 and let's see how we can find the trigonometric ratios for 0 and 90 degrees to start with 0 degrees. So if I have theta as 0 degrees, then what happens to the triangle is the biggest question. Now imagine we have a right angle triangle this with theta. If theta is some angle made from adjacent to the hypotenuse, but this is opposite hypotenuse and adjacent. Now this, when theta tends to 0 degrees, then what happens? That means when theta is tending to 0, this hypotenuse and adjacent fall on each other and opposite side diminishes. That means theta equal to 0 degrees implies my opposite side will become 0 and my adjacent, my hypotenuse will reduce to the adjacent is how we understand theta equal to 0. So this triangle tries to become a line which falls without any angle is how we understand this reducing to this when theta equals 0 degrees. So mathematically when theta is 0 degrees my opposite side is 0 and my hypotenuse and adjacent are same. So using this basic geometrical property let's derive the trigonometric ratios of sine cos and tan. To start with sine 0 we know that sine theta is opposite by hypotenuse therefore sine 0 which is opposite by hypotenuse gives me the opposite which is 0 substituted and hypotenuse which is adjacent or we can take h 0 by h is 0 therefore sine 0 is 0. So I understand that sine 0 is 0. Similarly, let's derive for cos 0 as we know that cos theta is adjacent by hypotenuse. Cos 0 is equally adjacent by hypotenuse so that adjacent and hypotenuse are equal. So in place of adjacent, I substitute hypotenuse or in place of hypotenuse, I substitute adjacent. This gives me 1. So both the same adjacents get cancelled and I get 1. That implies my cos 0 is 1. So sine 0 is 0 and cos 0 is 1 is what we conclude. So finally let's come with tan. What could be tan 0? Tan theta is sine theta by cos theta is what we have seen connected with sine cos and tan. Therefore if I wanted to find tan 0 this would be sine 0 by cos 0 using the formula tan theta equals sine theta by cos theta. Now as we have already calculated for sine 0 and cos 0 by substituting out here in the numerator and the denominator I get sine 0 is 0 and cos 0 is 1. 0 by 1 is 0 therefore my tan 0 is 0 is how I conclude for tan 0 being 0. Similarly, I can connect the three trigonometric ratios secant, secant, secant and cot using the similar concept. So let's see how we can do that. But before that, there's an important note I would like to make that when I say tan 0 is 0, the left hand side of 0 is an angle and the right hand side is the value. So when I take this, the left hand side is 0 degrees which is angle and the right hand side is also 0 which is the value is a very big difference which we need to point and make a note out of it. It's very important to identify that this 0 is not equal to this 0. The left hand side 0 is an angle which is denoted with 0 degrees. Degree is the measure of an angle and the right hand side 0 is a value which we differentiate between the left and the right hand side. Let's see how all the trigonometric ratios of theta equal to 0 be listed out here.
So let's take the listed trigonometric ratios for theta equal to 0. So for theta equal to 0, I have derived for sine 0 equals 0, cos 0 equals 1, and tan 0 equals 0. So this gives me cosecant 0 is 1 by sine 0, that is 1 by 0, that is infinity, that is this tends to infinity because sine 0 is com coming to the denominator implies it tends to undefined value and secant 0 is again 1 by 1 which is 1 but tan or the cot 0 which we are going to find here is 1 by tan 0 that is 1 by 0 which tends to infinity. Therefore, each of sine cos tan and cosecant secant cot reduce to 0, 1, 0, infinity, 1, infinity respectively. Is how we understand the trigonometric ratios for theta equals 0 degrees. And finally, left with the special angle theta equal to 90 degrees for which we are going to find the trigonometric ratios, all the six for theta equal to 90 degrees. So let's take the special angle theta equal to 90 degrees and see how exactly we can visualize the triangle with one of the angle as 90. So as I see here, let me draw a right angle triangle usually which we take with 90 and one of them as theta. Now what happens when this theta becomes 90? So somewhat this tries to become both are 90. I cannot form a triangle because both never meet. These two become parallel and two lines parallel never meet. So we assume that each of this being 90 makes us understand that this is not possible that a triangle can be constructed with two angles being 90. Therefore, we see that when theta is 90, this theta reduces to 90 degrees and hence the two lines are parallel if imagined through the mathematical definition of theta equal to 90 degrees. Therefore, this makes us understand that finally my hypotenuse will be equal to the opposite side and my adjacent value is 0. This is opposite side and adjacent is 0 because my adjacent side tends to get reduced and I get my adjacent side converges with this. So this tends to 0. So this value distance tending to 0 makes us understand the adjacent side is 0 and the hypotenuse and opposite converge to become a, a straight line like this. 90 degrees and converge to become a straight line with adjacent 0 and opposite and hypotenuse being equal. So using this case, let's find the trigonometric ratios. Therefore, my sine theta, which is opposite by hypotenuse, gives sine 90 is opposite, which is equal to hypotenuse. But I can take this O by hypo. hypotenuse, which is also O. So this O can be substituted for H by H, which gives me 1. Thus, making me understand that sine 90 is equal to 1. Is how I get sine 90 is 1. Same way, using these two conditions to find the cos 90, let's see how we can get the value of cos 90 by using adjacent by hypotenuse. Adjacent being 0, I get 0 by hypotenuse is 0. Therefore, cos 90 is 0 and sin 90 is 1. Therefore, my tan 90, which is sin by cos, gives me sin which is 1 and my cos which is 0 which tends to infinity because denominator is the 0. Therefore tan 90 tends to infinity this is how I understand the sin 90, cos 90 and tan 90 connected with the trigonometric ratios. Now, how do we find the reciprocal trigonometric ratios using sin, cos and tan is what we are going to do next. So now that we have found for sine, cos and tan, that is 
my sine 90 which was 1 and my cos 90 which is 0 and tan 90 which tends to infinity implies my each of cosecant which is 1 by sine is 1 secant 90 which is 1 by cos 90 is 1 by 0 which tends to infinity and my cot 90 which is 1 by infinity tends to 0 because 1 by 0 is infinity and 1 by infinity is 0 is how we understand the concepts of infinity connected with the fractions. So denominator 0, 1 by 0 is said to be tending to infinity and 1 by infinity is said to be 0. Thus, this giving us sine, cos and tan and this giving us cosecant, secant and cot is how we get the trigonometric ratios for the special angle theta equal to 90 degrees. Now let's club all the special angles 0, 30, 45, 60 and 90 and write all the respective trigonometric ratios in the form of a table, in the tabular form. So let's see the tabular form of all the special angles taken into consideration for all the trigonometric ratios. So I take the theta here and then I take each of the standard angles 0, 30, 45, 60 and 90 and I take sine theta cos theta, tan theta, cosecant, secant and cot are the six trigonometric ratios which I take on the left hand side and this on the right hand side of the angles. So first I have 0, 1 by 2, 1 by root 2, root 3 by 2 and 1 and 1 root 3 by 2 and thus coming to cosecant And then finally with second therefore to start with cot is 1 by this and I got cot 30 as root 3 and then it's 1 1 over root 3 and 0 So these are the six trigonometric ratios whose special angle 0, 30, 45, 60 and 90 are identified for each of the ratios. Say for example, I would like to find cos 60, then I go to the cos column and then to the 60 column, then 1 by 2 is cos 60. And say I wanted to find secant 45, I go to the column of secant and I go to 45 and I get root 2. Finally, cot 90, I go to cot and then I go to 90 and then cot 90 is 0 is how I intersect between finding the ratios. So all the ratios with their special angles which we have found can be easily identified through the table and memorized 
through the tabular form of writing the trigonometric ratios in tabular, tabular form for the special angles 0, 30, 45, 60 and 90. Now different students can do, memorize this in a different manner. The choice is left to you in how you're going to memorize the table with some shortcuts of the mathematical pattern identified here. This is reverse of this and this is division of this. This three are the reverses of this or there are many ways through which you can memorize this table through the shortcut methods as invented by many teachers who attempt on this. So what do you understand between especially the sine and cos as seen from the table? Clearly, when I see the sine row, the row containing the sine values of the special angles out here, I see that as the special angle increases towards right, my sine value also increases towards right. But when I go to the cosine angle, I switch to the second row where I observe that as my special angle increases towards right, my cos theta or the cosine of the angle tries to reduce to zero. One reduces to zero. Therefore, the learning outcome from sine and cos is that as theta increases sine theta increases equally and similarly when I just investigate for cos as theta increases cos theta decreases or when theta decreases cos theta increases that is they are inversely proportional where this increases implies this and this increases implies this decreases mathematically for a greater than b implies sin a is greater than sin b or equal or when a is greater than or equal to b implies cos a is less than or equal to cos b is how mathematically I identify the increasing and decreasing concepts, concepts when connected to the mathematical understanding. So when theta increases, sine theta increases or when theta decreases, sine theta decreases. But here coming to the cosine, they are inversely proportional because when theta increases, the cosine angle decreases or when theta decreases, the cosine angle increases taken respectively with mathematical definitions this is how we identify through the tabular column of special angles connected with trigonometric ratios. Now let's see some practice problems where I use special angles to simplify some of the given expressions. Say for example I would like to simplify 2 tan square 60 degrees minus 12 cos square 30 degrees plus cot 45 degrees. Now how do I simplify this? Initially, I identify that there are some special angles out here 60, 30 and 45 degrees. So immediately, I recollect the tabular form through which I extract the values from the table and substitute here and then simplify is the only intention of the problem in, in its simplification. Therefore, in order to simplify, I have this too. Tan 60 is clearly root 3. Therefore, tan square 60 would be substitution of tan 60 as root 3 raised to power 2 and this would come to be 12 cos 30 is root 3 over 2. So cos 30 being root 3 over 2 is substituted in place of cos with power this and cot 45 is 1 as from the seen from the table in the previous session. Now simplifying this I get this to be root 3 whole square is 3 minus 12 times root 3 whole square 3 by 2 squared is 4 plus 1 which on further simplification gives 4 1s 4 3s 2 times of 3 is 6 3 times of 3 is 9 and plus 1 which on further simplification gives 6 plus 1 7 minus 9 is minus 2. So this is how the answer is obtained through the simplification as taken through the special angles. So special angles help us in finding simplifying some of the trigonometric expressions by substituting the respective special angles from the table, table as considered in the previous session. So the value substituted gives me the answer for this entire question as negative 2.